guy. So I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see myself. Not that that matters. Anyway, let me get to the point. I'm a boxing fan, all right? I watch boxing. And I've always felt that, just like in any competitive sport, especially when it becomes entertainment, there's always going to be some level of control or manipulation. I felt that there was some sort of control and manipulation in the anti Joshua fight. I felt that there was a touch bit of control and manipulation in the Anthony Yardi fight. Anthony Joshua fight, him losing made him relevant for the year. Now we're building up to see this big fight. If he wins, you know, he's pinged him down a bit, but now it makes it work, the heavyweight division a bit more broad. Anyway, I digress. It is a game. It's an industry. It's designed to keep people drawn in, to build excitement. Unlike the Klitschko era where it was win after win after win, now it's entertainment. It's an entertainment sport. It's got to compete with the likes of UFC, who are, it's genuine fighting. It's straight up wars. I say all of this because I found a bit of information today that makes me believe that there is a high level of control in the sport. Now I want to play this clip off the TV, copyright, whatever, but this is just what it is. Like I'm not even trying to mess about. Like I'm not really a blogger or anything. I'm just giving you my view. It's probably going to be the first one that I just throw up. Um, it's all going to be done on my phone. Ain't no special effects. But what you're going to see is a bit like Shocking. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the fight here from here. Round 11, one minute 46 left in the match here. Excuse the quality, it was uploaded by someone else, not me. Yards playing well, fighting well. I just want you to remember to look out over to the right hand side of the screen here. On this hand side of the screen, Kuleb's gonna move at the way at one point. When he does, you'll see that there's a guy that signals out to yards. He signals out to him, almost encouraging him to go down. I'm gonna sit down and play this because the screen's a bit quiet for me. Just have a watch. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna act like say I'm gonna pretend like this ain't what I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say what I see. Yeah, from my point of view. Now, obviously, I might be wrong. I might be right. Who cares? Who knows? And I'm just giving you my point of view. Yeah. So this is a bit further back, right? As you can see, Yards is on his game. Like he's swinging punches. He's quite strong. But if you actually watch Yards. He looks to me like he's looking out for something every so often. Punches are strong, punches are solid. Watch his direct head direction at some points when he's not being here. He starts to short the hair, look, watch. Looks like he's looking out. You see that? Clearly looked like he was looking out. His opponent's not in that direction, but he was looking out somewhere. Is he tired? Looking, just not staying fully focused. Looking again, did you see that? Clearly looking. It's important to see what his body's doing. Looking again, you see that the head's not at his fighter. Looks again, and then takes a jab and goes down. Huh? So that's where his eye, what his eyes are doing, yeah. To a degree, I'm not gonna go as far back. Obviously, my I might be wrong, but watch this now. Yeah? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Come on, man. One more, please. Yeah. Even my man get he just swings his arms up. Get me that water. Now, I won't lie, I have watched it a number of times, like again and again and again just now, yeah. And I have to ask the question, is it just a supporter of Kolev? Is it just one of his fans? Be sitting right next to Frank Warren. In Frank Warren, repping the UK. I don't know, man. Like, right. <laughs> make your own mind up.